Hello guys, Courtney Lyons here with Diamond Star Girl's Best Friend, and I have a really awesome reveal for you. This is Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Butter D and Diamond Art Club. So yeah, this was so much fun. I did a little bit of enhancement to it. You'll see. All right, here we are. Um, first, let me kind of, actually, you know what? We're just going to do it. I'm going to show you the big reveal. <laughs> so I do not have, this is not going to make, you can't see the whole thing. <laughs> like, you can't see the whole thing from this camera angle. So I'm going to pop in, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to pop in the view of me putting my stand, my camera stand, up on a chair so you could see it from high, an, uh, high enough of a viewpoint. Oh my gosh, it's late, guys. My I'm slurring my words. Okay, and I'm going to pull you back a bit first to see it. So pretty. Okay, right here I'm going to pop in the big kind of higher up angle so you can see it. Isn't that so gorgeous? Okay, so I'm going to try to see if I can... Hold on. I might be able to finagle something. Okay, I was trying to do a bit of a different camera angle. It kind of worked, kind of didn't. I mean, you can see most of it. But, um, yeah, I'll, do, I'll end up doing a... Uh, main pan over by the end there so you can see it so let's first talk about what we have here um this is witch's flower shop by mrs buttered and or butter d i don't know how you say it and um diamond art club so first let's look at this is a 50.7 by 70.6 this is a really good size guys i feel like this is a lot of people's golden size and I think it's starting to be my golden size, but I still like the bigger ones for rendering purposes, especially if it's like a landscape, but um, I really liked this. This was a lot of fun. This wasn't a snack size, but I feel like it, it went, it's not about going quicker so much as, okay, I know what it is, it's variety. Because Satura was a large kit that was square, and this was a slightly smaller kit, um, quite a bit smaller kit that was round and I just liked that it was different. Plus the colors are very, very different. Let me show you. This is Satura right here. And I love saving the drills. I honestly don't remember who it was that had the idea of making a little baggie of drills to save the colors. But look at that compared to this. Also, another thing I wanted to point out with this one is I know a lot of people were a little bit hesitant about the colors being a little bit duller, especially for Mrs. Buttered. This was so beautiful to work with. The colors were amazing to work with. Even these neutrals, they're so shiny and still like, mm, I don't know how buttery in color. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it, but they they have so much pigment in each drill that it really was a joy to work with each and every one of these colors. Like, even the main color that was kind of the outline everywhere, this brown, was still so beautiful to work with. I'm really, it, I loved it. Um, let's talk about some more things about this. I did start it on the 7th of March and I finished it on the 27th. I did do this for, this might be hard for you to read, Mermaids and Magic, and um, that was, oh my gosh, I'm spacing the name, I'll pop it right here of uh, the, the creators or the content creators who made this event and it's been a lot of fun. I haven't participated in any of the giveaways mostly because I just felt like I shouldn't and um, I was just in it for like the community aspect of it and see whatever else everyone else was going to do and just kind of having I like doing events occasionally to have a purpose for my kit not that I have to have a purpose but I don't know it just makes it fun. Um, I did do a couple of enhancements, so let me point that out to you. I also have shorts videos of me doing these. So do you see her? Oh dear, hold on. Oh, disaster. Okay. Do you see her? It's like a necktie brooch thing. It's not a necklace. But you can see I did this quad right here. Um, this is from DP with Sparklers, and it was supposed to be four more of these um, pinky purpley 
I forget the name of the, that color. Um, but it is, that was what it was supposed to be there. But I love how there's still an outline of the pink color with the quad in the middle. Now these quads are meant for squares. So they're only slightly smaller. So you can still use them for rounds really. And I thought it worked perfectly, especially since I got a little bit of that outline of pink. So it's like pink, white, pink, and then, you know, like the really similar white, off-white pearly color and it just I loved that and then the other enhancement I made so I only made the two enhancements was sorry guys you know I'm on that squeaky spot um the other which is necklace these are slivers also from DP with sparklers I did run into a bit of problems that I think this is supposed to take up four squares but there were only six round spots there and since rounds are bigger than squares it still worked. I just had to push drills down right here and right there, when, which honestly, as long as it stays put, I don't care. And it's, it is staying put. So um, I think it looks gorgeous. I think, yeah, it's a little bit squished. I could probably straighten that out a bit. But I thought it turned out so fun. And it was really fun to just eat, give them each their little enhancements, like in the same way that they're a little bit different in coloration from each other. Um, with their hair and stuff, and even a little bit their skin tone. I, I loved that they had very different necklaces, too, or kind of bling. Um, let's see. Okay, so it was poured glue. I never ran out of any drills, so here are what I had left over of everything, which um, was less less um extras that I'm kind of used to like Satoru I feel like I got a ton of extra of everything and um not a ton more I mean of the ones that I had a lot of colors for yeah but maybe there just were a lot of smaller colors that I I like that one was pretty close and we actually had a lot of these surprising like what it, anyway I felt like that one I stressed there are a couple colors I started stressing a little bit about but I wasn't too concerned and I never actually ran out of any of them. While we're on colors, let's talk about my favorite colors. Um, one, my favorite special color was this AB124. Um, it was just, oh my gosh, I loved this AB pinkish purpley color. It was so pretty. It mostly went in this flower right here. Guys, the specials in these flowers is so gorgeous the part where her, she is like using her magic with this flower here and it has the sparkles i love ab's they're hard to work with but you know i had there's a content creator michaela renee who pointed out that if you use tweezers when placing these they don't get their ab coating popped off which was really a bother for me when i do that with um even putty will pop it off wax putty um definitely glue dots will pop up just enough of that coating that you're like, ah, it made it a little bit less shiny. So I actually can see a stark difference between these AB drills here that I use tweezers on because that was after I found out about that little trick to these ABs here. And let me see if I can get it closer to you to see that. So these ABs here, you can see, maybe you can see, a little bit of the coating is just popped off at the top. It just it just gets a little bit pulled off. Nothing too bad, and you still get plenty of sparkle and shine. But then right here, and maybe you can't see it as well through the camera, just completely fine. Besides, like, any small variations or problems that it came with to begin with, you know? Let me see, I'm trying to... Uh, so hard to get the whole thing in camera. But you'll see, you'll see the whole thing in the pan over and then in the big part where I stood it up on the chair so you could see it. <coughs> My, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> We've been super sick here. If you can't tell from my voice again. Um, my favorite color. Ooh, that was tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, because... Like, favorite regular color, because you already saw my favorite AB or um, specials color. Which, really the special one, it was a really close contender for this fairy dust one. Oh, that was gorgeous too. I don't know, they're really close. Um, 
<laughs> but these three are my favorite colors. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I just surprisingly liked a lot of these colors because... I thought I would have a little bit of trouble with all the neutrals, that I would get tired of the neutrals. It didn't. I loved it all. It was so much fun. Even the color blocking at the top, like up here, at the very top up there, still a lot of fun. I had fun multi-placing this thing, which I'm not usually a huge fan of multi-placing, but I had a lot of fun this, with this. So these are my favorite colors from um, regular colors, not specials. And I make the two different categories because I think my favorite color is always going to be a special color. <laughs> so I have to make room for a category for the normal colors because they are gorgeous too. And I think this one might take the cake, surprisingly, because something like that would usually normally be my, I don't know, even this one right here was really pretty. These right here. But something about this red was so rich and fun to do that I kept wanting to leave it to last even over some of the specials because I just enjoyed that color so much, but really love just, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. These are not really that neutral. They really are actually very vibrant, which you just wouldn't have expected. And, um, uh oh, where'd the sticker for this one go? Oh, here it is. Here, instead of the sticker, let me show you this. Because when you look it up on Diamond Art Club, you see this, it looks a lot more neutral than it is. Like, Look at this compared to how the colors actually are and actually stand out. They were just, I can't, I can't say it enough. You, if you were on the fence about this, don't be. It was amazing. Go grab it when it, I think it's, if it's not in stock, when it does get back in stock, go ahead and grab it. If you're on the fence about it because so worth it. It was so much fun to do. I loved it. Um, okay, so the next thing, I don't know why I closed my book because I need that. Come on, Court. Okay, um, post review video, I'll write that here. I don't remember what day I'm posting it. Probably I'll put it up on Monday. Um, hardly any trash. Oh yeah, let's talk about trash. So this was trash. That's it, that, that, that was all the trash. Absolutely, practically, <laughs> practically nothing for this whole kit. It wasn't bad at all. Um, my kids are probably going to be disappointed because then they can't get as many trash drills to trade. I don't know. They're starting to wind down about that. I think that the hype of it is over. Um, the specials, there were the three ABs, or sorry, the four ABs. So this one right here, this green. And watch that, um, that, uh, unboxing video I did if you want to see where they're specifically placed but you'll see it in the pan over that yellow one and this white one and the pink one pinkish purple one and then we have three fairy dusts which um there's this one this which I actually ended up getting extras of because my daughter spilled them so thank you diamond art club for sending those and because when she spilled them, it was a cat hair disaster. Um, and then this fairy dust right here, that pink one, pinkish purplish one again. And let's see, these are resin. Um, I already talked about favorite color. Uh, overall finish 17. So I am new to diamond painting, guys. I, I started in October, but it is my 17th finish and eight overall finish of 2024. And not all of them have been this size. Some of them have been smaller. Um, I noticed kidding up, hardly any static, but I did have like a lot of weirdly rogue drills. Like they are not supposed to be in there, like the colors that weren't supposed to be in there. I just, when I, op when I popped it open for the first time, I would fish out the drills that were rogue and find where they went. It was fine. Um, but surprisingly a lot. It was just a lot. Um... <coughs> I did start to get a little bit tired of color blocking. Um, there was a lot of color blocking in this, and some people absolutely love that. I'm one that likes a variety of color blocking and confetti. And so by the end here, I left this to the end. It ended up being a lot more confetti, so that helped me with the color blocking to not have so much color blocking. Um, 
but I did get really good at color blocking with this kit because I mean I had to like it was a lot of color blocking but it was also ver like varied enough that I didn't get like bored of it it just color blocking just it's just not my thing as much as I like some color blocking with mostly single placing or maybe with some four placer. So I guess I, I, I use a lot of four placer, but I meant like color blocking like a whole lot. So like this, my daughter helped right here and um, yeah, it was, a. <laughs> I had to go back and straighten this and even then I could probably do a lot more, but I, she was super helpful. She loved, she actually loves color blocking, so, so she had a lot of fun with that part. I was like, have at it, because that was a lot of green right there. I don't really particularly feel like color blocking, but um, my favorite area of the canvas is definitely these flowers down here, although I really enjoyed, I thought the hat, the hat was, the hats were pretty fun, and then adding the um, special drills over here, but these flowers were the highlight for me, especially, look how beautiful these yellow flower petals are right here. Just, they did an A-B, let me see if I can bring it up close for you. They did an A-B, I love when they put A-Bs and fairy dust together. So here's the A-B right here, and the fairy dust right next to it. Um, Yeah, that was super pretty. Okay, so one last problem I would say, I mean, it's Diamond Art Club. It was close to perfection as you can get, so I'm really nitpicking here. But um, I did notice that some of these colors, symbols, let me show you. <laughs> especially um, this one and this one which is sad because I love the fairy dust the, the symbols I think are just a touch too big I feel like they could have made those a little smaller because um, let me show you where those went and I had to I, especially in the flowers you don't see it too much because I went back and I tried to fix it as closely as possible. Even then, let's see if I can focus you in on it. Can you see all the black you can see underneath, like right here especially? Because the symbols were so big, so I mean, I can go in and like fix it a little bit, but it was, it was time consuming to go in and try to make sure that each of these colors would cover up the symbol. Sorry if my voice is everywhere when I move around. So that really, that 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 annoyed me. Um, out of anything on this canvas, that probably bothers me the most. Because it just makes the symbols just a touch smaller. Even the guide circles, because you can't really see the guide circles. They do their guide circles really faintly. Leave those. Those are great. But um, the symbols themselves, I just, those bigger ones like that need to just be shrunk just a little bit because I just, they show up too much, and they show up from further away, like, I'm maybe, like, I'm standing up straight at the kitchen table, and I can still see the ones that are showing up under, like, right here, and maybe not you guys, because it's, it's kind of a zoomed out view, so that, that was kind of a bummer, that, that a little bit bothered me, everything else was way nitpicky if I had any issue with it, um, the drill field was so good and tight. Um, things fit together really well. I, yeah, had a whole lot of fun with this. And like I said, I was surprised by the color variation. Um, so much fun with the colors. So much fun with everything about this was so much fun. <coughs> the AB placement. Kate, once again, amazing AB placement. Those all looked really good. I love the, especially the ones in her glasses. Um, this like crystal ball back here was so cool to do. <clears throat> um, the flowers that just, they're just little corner flowers and they had just a touch of ABs just to give it that extra sparkle. The ABs over here in the plants and, um, yeah, that was fun. Really fun kit. Even these neutrals here, guys, that are down here at the bottom were a lot of fun to do because they're just so rich. The colors are so rich. Also, the colors of these, mm, I just, I loved the colors. I loved them. And I believe <clears throat> that just about covers it. Um, yeah. I can't think of anything else besides that 
I guess we could talk rendering, but um, rendering, as you can see, was really good. I did want to point out this is my first, like, coloring book style diamond painting where you have it where they're outlined. And so you can, like, fill in that, do the outlines and then fill in the colors after. That was so much fun. So much fun to go in. And I even, like, worked ahead where I, like, I opened this square up and... Um, especially over here, where I was pretty close to being done since I left this for last. Um, it was these two square, these two squares right here. I like, did all the brown, did all the brown, and then just went in and did all the colors of the flowers and of the leaves, and it was so much fun. Oh, one more thing. This was also my first time using the the perforated sheet for the the cover sheet. I loved that. I am so glad they did that. I was a little bit apprehensive because I had been hearing some people say that. And I know I kind of, in the unboxing, kind of already talked about how I loved it. But I I loved it so much. It made it so easy to just whoop, pop it open. And I don't have to worry about having the knife down here. Um, my little X-Acto knife. And my kids getting hold of it. Or um having to look for it and I was like ready to cut the next part it just kind of took a step away and not had to worry about it I know some people had some issues about them not lining up with the next color but I just kind of took that into account if it looked like it mostly uncovered that color then I'd kind of start with that edge and then push the drill and leave a little bit underneath the cover and it was fine anyway one day I'll make a video on how I use the perforated sheet because there are a couple tricks to get past the imperfections of it, but overall it was really helpful and useful and really glad that they, they did that. And it's going to be a little bit hard to go back to a kit that does not have it. So, okay, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you liked this. And um, if you get to the end of this video, oh my gosh, I almost forgot one more thing. There was one weird spot right here where I lost a little bit of sticky glue. It was really weird. It was it was actually like right here in this area. And it wasn't even like an AB or anything that wouldn't come off. And I wasn't using um, glue dots. I was using putty. And it wouldn't come off at all. And so I used one of you viewers. And I'm not going to say her name because I don't know how she feels about like getting a shout out. But you know who you are. So if it's you, say that's me. Um, and I'm pretty sure you watch like all my videos, so I'm, I'm sure you'll see this, of where um, you, all you have to do is put the drill in a spot that's sticky and kind of slide it over to the part that is not sticky. And I was like, that's genius. <laughs> and I used it and it worked. So thank you. Oh, I almost, almost said your name. Um, yes, let me know if I can say your name on camera um, because you never know. Um, I, I never know if that's like an appropriate thing or not. So uh, that was an awesome suggestion. I really appreciate that. It worked completely, and I, I was panicking a little bit in this area. And then that's, that's what I did was slide the glue over. It was great. Okay, sorry. Now it's the end of the video. Like and subscribe, guys. A lot of fun to do this kit. If you're on the fence about it, go get it. Um, I didn't know if you guys know that I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. So next time you go make your purchase, um, especially if it's like a some sort of sale that's already there, um, go ahead and click on the link that I have down below and then you can help me in that way. I get a, I think it's like a 15% kickback at absolutely no cost to you, but you know, there's also no pressure for that. And there are other codes you can use. I know like if it's your first time buying, you can get 20% off with Katie at Diamonds and Washi. You know, I'm all about you guys getting the best discount possible. So go do that. But if it's not your first time, and you want to support my channel, go ahead and do your next per purchase through this link, and that would be awesome and helpful. Okay, thanks, guys. I'm going to end this with a pan over like I usually do, and I'll see you later. Bye.